far from ready for tomorrow at one. It's confusing. You know, it's fashion, it's couture. We're putting together a fashion show. Well, it's not gonna work. Okay, okay everyone, it's starting. Tie from here now, tie from here. You just, you don't want it all like Forced into the world. Tie from here, please, we don't have time. Before the madness began. The day before. Just from LA now. Yeah, it's freezing. Then we package everything, but then everything, everyone brings something, so that's why it's like coming a little bit by a little bit. Yeah, I've never seen snow before. It's incredible. It's so pretty. This is the team of Jeremy Scott, America's most subversive fashion designer. For him, fashion is a cause. Past collections took on gangs, violence, food, war. Money, bourgeois excess, cars, oil, and tomorrow at one in a New York gallery, his target will be fashion itself. Everybody wants to be in fashion. Everyone who's not in fashion wishes they're in fashion. You've got Lady Gaga desperately wanting everyone to know how much she loves fashion. And I'm a fashion designer, so why don't I do a show about fashion? It seems very logical to me. So the fashion show is going to be a spoof of fashion shows. You want fashion? I'll give you fashion. The collection's theme is the religion of fashion, the absurdity of fashion, the obscenity of fashion in a brand-obsessed world. Could you walk with your arms up? Yeah, so we could see Yes, please. And then again, because there's, oops, there's things on the front and back to see. It's the old age-old debate, style versus fashion, fashion versus style. How many times have you heard that one? Just my need to be a communicator and how I use fashion more as a, a communication tool. You know, it's communicating a message and I guess with the prints, I can do that even more so. Indeed, Jeremy Scott has a strong instinct for Prince. He actually talks like Prince, like everything he says could be printed on a cool t-shirt. Fashion means not eating when you laugh you by. <laughs> Hugs, not drugs. Viva avant-garde. It's never enough plaques. It's great for New York Fashion Week to have shows like this, a little bit different, a little bit more about characters and personality. I think it gives also to a lot of young designers kind of like some tips you follow up on that you don't have to be like everybody else, that you can be an individual and still succeed. Jeremy Scott has artistic credibility, which got him collaborations with celebrities like Madonna and Miss Piggy, and brands like Longchamp and Adidas with striking results. But will the American audience finally get his delirious point of view and surrealist outfits? I really wanted to play up to what I think the expectations are of the designer. And it is a very important, this whole like kind of department store mentality of hanger appeal. So I created a hanger with my actual signature and the whole idea of what looks good on the hanger, what sells. Yeah, that's like the, the, the belt that has become a sketch. I mean, a sketch belt. So it's like the sketch has jumped off the page and come alive. So it's like a double model, I guess, in a way. Can you walk for me, my love? I'm getting good ones of this. Like, I need someone that can wear it, even if that's her only outfit, perhaps. Jeremy Scott is relieved because he just found the first model for his eccentric garments. As for the rest of the models, the casting agents are in for a challenge. Jeremy Scott's fashion show is at the very same time as super rich powerhouse Oscar de la Renta's. Regardless, we wanted to confirm her. Mariki is closing. She's having a really good season. Tati, who we love, she opened Marc Jacobs last night. Wow. 
And what's going on with this one? We're still waiting. Uh -huh. They're going to pull her out of her schedule. Nasty, can I see you walk? I think I'm always just looking for people that I think have a, a unique gorgeous kind of personality. Obviously there's a physical beauty you know that you look for, but there's also something that comes out and that's something so it's kind of something you can't really say. It's kind of like intangible. The one we really liked she's no longer available. But don't tell him that yet. <laughs> Maybe he won't know this. I get lazy now, I don't draw so much like I used to. Now I'm much more concerned about the actual because so much can be illogical in the drawing because it is a farce, it's a sketch. I'm also busier. When I first started, I had time to draw and redraw and redraw things and spend time sketching. But now, like that famous designer, I also have lots of emails to do every morning. So drawings don't have much time so I do really quick ones. I think those shorts look too big on her. Something's wrong. Do you want to pin it when she gets here? Stephanie, we wanted to have uh, gems on the cross on the bolero. Really? Yeah. Fading fast, too much uh, close work. Hanging in there. Yeah. He's got to pat, place the plaques on the jacket that weren't placed before we had to finish sewing it. And this is a bodysuit, which is an interesting story. <laughs> The first time I began, I had sewn an entire dress that was um, very similar with the crosses. And then this one, not realizing that it was the wrong color for the crystals, I had inverted the colors. So I had to take all the crystals off of this one and sew it. And then when we put the model, we realized all of them were sewn too tight and they all became very erect when she <laughs> put it on. So then we had to take it all off for a second time and then re-sew it. And then we realized now that the right leg are not even. So once again, <laughs> I'm taking it off and redoing it. On this particular piece, I think like 15 hour days on this thing. You know, <laughs> this is like the easiest piece in the world. But it's just like, it so much like redoing and redoing, like during fittings and like the wrong colors. And, I mean, it's, it's very meditative. I'm gonna try this jacket on with you. I don't know about those sleeves. Something's wrong. Masha, why don't you unpin the back and let it just be that length? Here, you need to grab Ida and you talk to her I about know. that. Jeremy Scott's casting is getting more and more complicated. The show is set at the exact same time slot as powerful Oscar de la Renta, and the casting agents have to be cunning and creative to book 21 supermodels for the show. Okay. So do you know what time she's coming? Well, they're models, so probably be late. <laughs> do you know what really happened to that girl? Because you weren't really sure, I just wondered. Oh, the one we just saw? Yeah. Crazy fashion week schedule, they just kind of come like cascades. Um, waiting on girls any minute now. I'm just trying to speed up the process and confirming some of the models. So I'm showing them pictures of shoes that we'll give to the agents. You gotta take care of your agents because they're the ones who, you know, the ones really working for you. So it's just negotiating, and at the end of the day, we're just trying to get models for three hours and whatever I have to do to make Jeremy happy what we're gonna do. So. Adidas shoes. Yeah, and the shoes are great.
because it's twisting, you know? Like, it's just... Well, uh, we'll see about that, yeah. You know, don't obsess with, just take out oh, yeah, those that right now. threads, and then we will see it on the body, you know? Anything from a distance? And then, so then move this one down, no? These need to be both down. So it's, I mean, it's a little bit loose on that. Um, this is pulling down. Uh huh. But um, he just said that you can do get sticky stuff to um, make it stay higher. There's something wrong again. <sighs> I need coffee, bad. I would love to just like go to sleep. I lost it completely. After like what is it? Seven, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, seven days. That's good. It's like Jesus, right? Seven days, crosses and the whole thing. <laughs> Lauren, you're more too I'm tired. It means I need to go to bed. It's a whole bunch of stuff to do. Still doing retouches. It's late. It's late. Yeah. It's late. Not cool. Thank you, my darling. So lovely to meet you. Where are you from? San Diego. She's a Cali girl. They breed them tall and long there. <laughs> I like her. These are all our nose. They weren't good enough. They didn't fit the collection this season. Garbage. I'm one of the few that recycle. Showtime is tomorrow afternoon at 1. Clothes are not finished. Casting is not finished. New York, indeed, will never sleep. still two fittings that we have to do as soon as possible. It's not about the audience, it's about me. I care for me. I want to do good for me. It's my... It's my work. It's my... My art. There's a lot of traffic at this time. Jeweled boots. Do you want to just try them so she has them and she's walked in them? Okay. Yes, please. Oh, perfect. You made notes on what you can you can do. You can kind of yeah. Kinda... I think we're just gonna take a little bit on each side mm -hmm. and then tuck this a little bit under. Star hairdresser Eugene Suleiman shows Jeremy Scott his idea for hair. What? And we're gonna leave some of them down. I'm gonna do some of the backs out. Love that. Cool. It's not easy at all. How long does it take for one, one model? One model, uh, maybe just over half an hour. No time to print the makeup pattern, so everyone has to take his own picture and redo it from that.
But there's another problem, as one agency just canceled the model last minute. The girls got pulled out by agencies, but we're gonna deal with that. They're gonna pay the consequences of repercussions of what happens when you pull a girl and you do something unfair, and you put us in a difficult predicament. Douglas and David, the casting agents, found a new model, Anya. But of course, she's on the other side of town. Is there something I can do? Do you want me to bring the dress here? No. Masha, this now is that other girl's, right? Mine is the one that come here. Okay. She's not here, she has not arrived. She's not arrived. Okay. You guys are the hardest ones. You have three each, okay? So really just like help each the other. Same, just you could just be on standby. Okay. Once the show starts, just run to her. Yeah. Okay, everybody look alive. We are like five minutes away. I'm going to start bringing girls, okay? You guys ready to receive? Check again, just to make sure. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, do you have any models that are done back here? Anybody? You are. Can you come with me, please? We'll get you dressed. So, we still don't have models. And it's 30 minutes before the show. He's bold and he's creative and he's, he's a person who actually, he's an artist. I couldn't have missed it for, the, for anything. <laughs> he's fantastic, he's a beautiful spirit. Look at these shoes. Those are beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Wing supply. Everyone looks so rich, it's amazing. Oh yeah. Hi. Hi. Good, how are you guys? Every single time I go to one of his runway shows, I end up thinking. You are a genius. How the fuck did you come up with that? What made you think to do that? And it's always stuff that, for me, I love because they're, it's fun. We need space because it's so ridiculous over there. We need space. Jeremy wants space. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Ty from here. Stressful. Well, it's an emotional release. Everybody is here. Journalists, celebrities, and finally, the last minute model, Anya. Anya here. Anya still has to have her hair and makeup done, and of course, to try on her outfit. What size shoe is she? 40. She hair makes up. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do about the hair and makeup? Okay, this is a real I issue. I know, but we can't. We can't drop her. Okay, well, they're very, very I know, I know. concerned I understand. about I understand. Timing. I just want to try this one thing on her. It's really this one. She'll definitely put the other outfit. Oh, about her? Then we need her. her. We need her. Okay, so we're willing to start 40 minutes late. You're sitting here? Um, we have to. We never, never have. To. She's never been in the clothes before. Okay. Can you just give us a walk back and forth, please? Huh? Okay. Great. Let's. Great. Thank you. Your stuff will be there. Come on. Let's get you over to the right place. Where's Eugene? Possible, and we're starting in a few minutes. Is everybody in their first look? They're gonna die when they see you guys coming with that. Put you over here, Allah. Starting. Strong, sexy, yeah, supermodel. So we're started, right? You'll go out the first, the, the first door. First Shine 
is wrong to say Boys and girls come out to play The winter shine is wrong to say Boys and girls come out to play you know, I still get emails. Estelle, all these girls were like, who was he from last season? All the girls were like, could you tell me who he is and what his number is? <laughs> you got all the best outfits. I know. You really did. I think when you can approach a subject with humor, you can find that you have a lot more leverage in making your message heard, rather than with being so aggressive. My method is using humor. I've never seen this. Exactly. Supermodel. And just tie from here. Tie from here. Tie from here now. Okay. Tie from here. You just you don't want it all the way. Tie from here, please. We don't have time. Okay, okay. it's great. Go out. Go. Okay. Stressful. Fucking fantastic line you've ever done. I love everything you should do. I swear to God, that one black dress with the big bow at the butt, I'm dying. Well, it's gonna look amazing on you. Literally, it's fucking incredible, Jeremy. Aww. Probably now my favorite show of the season. Mm. I changed my flight so that I could come to your show. Sweetheart. So beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Was it a little bit of losing my religion? <laughs> I'm actually a little emotional. For the first time, I think I'm speechless. Oh, you want to cry? A little bit. We are Bye -bye. So we're Great job, everybody. Good job. Um, I feel relieved. I feel relieved that it's over. I feel relieved that it's not the pressure. <laughs> Sorry. It's emotional. It's an emotional relief. You're bearing your soul. You know, you're showing people, you know, you're, it's a very vulnerable thing. It's things that I've blood, sweat, and tears passionately believed in and forced into the world. You know, forced into the world, not just like leisurely forced. I feel like a man that got let out of jail right now. That's what I feel like. It's like a pressure is off. But I'm still kind of tingly because I remember what it was like to be in jail just a minute ago. Gonna accept that. <laughs>